And now to make sure our pixel works properly, we also need to verify our domain. So we need to go to brand safety here on the bottom left, click on domains, then go to add and click on create a new domain. Then here we simply put in the domain of our store and then click on add. And now we need to add this meta tag, which is basically just a piece of code onto our HTML code of our store. So all we need to do is just copy by clicking on this code right here, then go back to our Shopify store, go to online store themes, and then go to actions here, click on edit code. And then we want to go to theme liquid here on the left side. Now this looks quite confusing, but just don't freak out. Just follow um, what I'm doing here. All we need to do is just paste in that code in the header section. So here, as you can see, the header starts. So we just uh, click here, click on enter. So we get a new paragraph. Then we just paste in the code just like this. And then we click on save. That's all we need to do to enter the code onto our store. And now we can go back to Facebook and check if that actually worked by clicking on verify domain here. And there we go, our domain is now verified. Now sometimes it does take a few minutes or even hours until the meta tag is live and you can verify your domain. For me, it only took like a minute until I was able to um, verify this domain after I pasted in the code. But um, once you see that page here, then you're basically done verifying the domain. Great, now this domain has been verified. Now another thing we need to do is also verify our Shopify domain because now we have um, verified our main domain that people will see when they visit our store. Um, now we also need to verify our Shopify domain because when you go to your Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then go to domains, you can see there's the domain that you have assigned to your store, the one we have purchased, and then also your Shopify domain, which is this one right here. And Facebook also wants us to verify this domain. So let's just copy this domain as well, then go back to the business manager and click on domains. Then you're gonna go to add domains again, click on create a new domain, paste in the Shopify domain, click on add, and then we just do the same thing again. So just copy the code here, go to our Shopify store. Um, so I'm gonna just show you again where it is. So online store, uh, then themes, actions, edit code, and then go to theme liquid. And then under the head, as you can see here, we just click enter and then just paste in the code for the second URL as well, click on save. And then again, wait like two minutes and then we can come back to the business manager here and click on verify domain. Now, if you're not able to verify your Shopify domain for some reason, what you wanna do is go to the Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then to domains, then click on your currently used uh, domain as the primary one for the store. And then under domain type, you wanna set this domain as redirect. So click here, set as redirect. And then once that's done, you wanna uh, go back to your business manager, click on verify again, and then you should be able to see this screen right here. Once that's verified, you can come back to Shopify and set the other domain as primary again by clicking on this button.